Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Coffee with Cliff. This is my mobile recording studio. Uh, in this podcast, I talk about my daily journey to get 1% better, covering the different topics of mind, body, business, and relationships. Today's topic is called Christmas Isn't Christmas. It was Christmas Eve, and the trap was set. Other kids told me, but I didn't believe them. So I decided to set a trap, a trap that would tell me beyond a shadow of a doubt if Santa was real. My plan was diabolically simple. I arranged the cookies nicely on the tray. I painstakingly wrote a note letting Santa know that all of the cookies were his. In my head, I figured that as long as Santa somehow touched that tray, I'd have his fingerprints. Of course, I didn't work out the details of how I would lift his fingerprints off the tray or even compare them to anything, but I'd figure something out. I thought I was a pretty clever kid. I knew that Santa couldn't resist Mom's cookies because everyone loved them. Well, the next morning, all was revealed. On the thank you note for the, from the cookies, my mom's distinctive handwriting gave away Santa's true identity. I think about that every single time that I have one of Mom's Christmas cookies, but not this year. Nope, this year there will be no visions of cookies dancing in my head, and for the first time that I can remember, Christmas is cookie-less. For some reason, my mom's cookies make Christmas Christmas. There's a slight honey twang to the Christmas cookies that always earns her compliments from everyone who eats them. In California, each December, a package arrives at my door, a Ziploc bag filled with cookies. Cookies I'd always have to tuck away in a cabinet somewhere because I knew that if I had just one, my willpower would evaporate and the bag would disappear within a matter of days. A number of years ago, Mom bequeathed her Christmas cookie recipe to me from some old Betty Crocker cookbook from the 1950s. I immediately scanned it in my computer so that I would have the Christmas recipe forever. If I couldn't be in Michigan for the holidays, I'd always try my hand at making the cookies, but they weren't just quite the same. But I still ate them because Christmas isn't Christmas without Mom's cookies. So this Christmas, I asked why there wasn't any. And mom said, well, it's getting really hard for me to see, and I don't know where I'm putting the cookie sheets. I hear the regret in her voice, something she's always loved to do, making people have her cookies, and they would always compliment on eating them. And while I may not understand everything that's happened, for some reason, mom just felt like she couldn't do it this year. So I pull up the recipe card on my Mac, and I say, don't worry, mom, I'll make the Christmas cookies this year. We'll need honey, she says. I think the grocery store just might be open. Now, Christmas can be Christmas. This is Coffee with Cliff. Thank you for listening.